hello and welcome to Laurie Fay Art. I hope that you have all had a fantastic week. Today's animal for the animal oracle card is hair. The astrological planet that the hair is linked to is moon. The chakra that the hair is linked to is the crown chakra and that is the seventh chakra and this is represented by the color violet or white. The element that the hair is linked to is earth. The hair, or jackrabbit as it is known in the USA, are leproids, which belong to the genus lepers. The difference between a hare and a rabbit is that they have longer ears and they live solitary or in pairs. They are also larger in body mass and hares have 48 chromosomes instead of the 44 that rabbits have. A hare's young are able to fend for themselves not long after being born, which is unlike their cousin the rabbit. Hares are herbivores and the arctic hare's lifespan is around 18 months. The scrub hare, however, lives for between 1 and 5 years. A hare less than one year old is called a leveret, and a group of hares is called a drove. So now I'm going to give you a little bit of brief history about the hare. In Egypt, the hare was connected to the very essence of being. The hare is in many of the hieroglyphs of that time. The goddess Osiris appeared at times with a hare head. There was a hare goddess and her name was Winnet. The ancient Egyptians wore hare amulets in life for fertility and in death they wore them for rebirth. The Celts had a three hair design and a similar design was found at the Buddhist cave temples. The Germanic goddess Holder or Hol was accompanied by torch bearing hairs and she was a fertility goddess. She reigned in the winter months lighting the way through the darkness. The Greeks often portray hairs on wedding rings, glasses and bowls in reference to their Greek deities. People with hair totem are often unpredictable and spontaneous. They are also equipped with fast reflexes and good coordination. If hair comes into your life, it is time to stop, look and listen. Hair asks you to notice dangers around you, your home or your place of work. Hairs are fantastic planners and good at escapes. When a hair appears, it may be to let you know that things are about to change. Have you adopted the role of the victim? Or did you feel others take advantage of you? If so, it is now time to make a stand. The positives of the hair spirit are fertility, abundance, survival instincts, speedy action and wit. The negative are not being respected, unpredictability, having a knee-jerk reaction, having fear-based actions, short-lived interest and becoming a victim. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about hairs in dreams. To see a hare in fields means prosperity, fertility, and it could mean moving into a larger or a bigger city. If in your dream you are chasing hares, it means you will meet interesting people or it foretells a journey of some kind. 
A baby hair in your dream foretells a house with many children. A white hair is a sign of victory, success and friendship. If the hair runs towards you, a visit from a close friend is in the future. If you are in your dream hunting hair, this means worries or troubles and killing a hair indicates fraud, loss and betrayal. So as you can see, there is a lot to the hair spirit. And if you are living a fast paced existence, do yourself a self check to make sure that you are seeing all the signs. So that today concludes our animal oracle card, the hair. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm just going to leave you with this last quote. Whether it is better to live in a culture that roots for the hair instead of the tortoise remains to be seen. Thank you.